Hi guys, good to see you again. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. Hope you're all keeping well and have had another good week. Well, with all the rainfall that we've had over the last week, 10 days, I just had to make my way out and head to a waterfall again to get a bit more long exposure waterfall photography in. So I've headed back into the Yorkshire Dales again and I've come to Cauldron Falls, which is just on the outskirts of a little village called West Burton. I was a bit worried that we'd have too much rainfall and there'd be too much white froth and it'd be flowing through too quick, but it's absolutely perfect conditions. As you can see behind me, there's plenty of water coming off the waterfall. I've got a nice little rock pool, a nice bit of steady a back eddy if you like, with some nice little bits of froth, just doing circuits. So hopefully on a long exposure, I can get a nice circle with the waterfall in the background. And as the title suggests, I've been really fortunate, k &F Concepts have been in touch and asked if I'd like to try out their new magnetic filter system. Of course, I jumped at the chance. It's been something that I've been thinking about go into the, the magnetic filter systems just saves all the faff of having to screw on the filters each time and as you know before now my circular polarizer and my 10 stop filter have been stuck together before and <laughs> that's the right issue when you're out and you, you don't want you don't need the 10 stop you just need the polarizer so yeah really excited to try out the filter system it's nice and overcast now so we've got some nice flat conditions so we should be able to get away with some nice long exposures without blowing out the tones in the water. So yeah, really excited to get the magnetic filter system going. Let's go and get set up. So I've managed to find quite a nice composition. I've actually positioned myself just on the right hand side of that rock pool that I was on about earlier, where I can hopefully get the nice swirl with the froth, just to get a nice angle so that I have, I've got none of the reflection of the sky in the rock pool itself. I'm only using the magnetic circular polarizer. Don't really need the 10 stop at the moment. I'm finding that an exposure time of around five seconds is getting me a nice swirl in the rock pool. But at that five seconds, obviously, the main waterfall and the cascade to my left are blowing out. So I'm gonna to have to stack this image, I think. So the first image for the rock pool and the swirl is five seconds. And then I found around about a fifth of a second is getting me a nice milky look on the waterfall itself and the cascade. And then I'll blend them two together. They should stack okay. If not, I'll just layer over the rock pool swirl on the, second, the fifth of a, a second exposure and hopefully should make a nice frame. Meanwhile, I need to tell you all about the KNF Concept Nano X Magnetic Quick Switch Filter System. <laughs> That's a mouthful, but I'm finding it absolutely fantastic. I was thinking of going mag magnetic anyway fairly soon, like I said earlier, and the fact that you can just clip it on and off, it's a dream, it really is. No faffing about with the screws or anything, or trying to thread it on, dropping it into the rock pool. So yeah, it's fantastic. And it really does spin nice and smooth. It spins lovely, the, the circular polarizer. Now obviously I'm only using that, no need to use the 10 stop. But I was, I've, I've tried it with the 10 stop earlier on. Still spins nice, and you can stack these magnetic filters, which is a really, a really good system. So I could put the UV on. Oh, by the way, it comes with three filters, the UV filter, the 10 stop and the circular polarizer. And you can stack all three of them together if you like, not a problem. You can still, so I've, I've put the circular polarizer on first, then I tried it with the UV, then with the 10 stop, and they spin lovely. So it's really nice and smooth. I think they're a, a 16 layer coating, scratch proof, weather resistant, so you can give them a good clean with the chamois leather. It won't affect the quality of the layers at all. So that, that's, a, that's a really good feature. They've got a nice perforated edge as well, just so that they don't slip out your fingers when you're changing. And uh, you know, the last thing you want, I mean, before now I have dropped my 10 stop when I've been unscrewing it, 
off the my old circular polarizer, unscrewing the tennis top, and I've dropped it because it slipped out of my hands because it's a smooth finish. Whereas these have got a nice a nice perforated edge to them, so that you can get a nice grip on them. So yeah, overall I'm really impressed with them. Comes in a nice case as well. Hold it the right way. Lovely case. It's got your Velcro straps on the back that you can you can attach to the tripod if you need be, or it's got the, the toggle hook as well. So yeah, really impressed. Can't thank K and F enough for sending me sending me them out and uh, let me have a go with them. So yeah. Gone are the days of the screw filters for me now. I'm going to stick with the magnetic filters. Anyway, hopefully this frame comes out all right. I'll pop it up now, guys. I've made my way round the other side of the stream now, or, or the river if you like. I did initially go further down and around into the waterfall, but there was no foreground element and it was just the waterfall, the overhanging trees, and then a sheet of brown water if you like, the peaty colour of water that it is. Nice, but not really a keeper. So I've made my way round, I've walked along this slab and I'm, I'm basically in the centre of the river now, centre of the stream. And I'm using what we've got three, six, it's about 10 rocks in the foreground with a nice bit of frothy water, milky water coming through. Now I'm going to have to stack this image again because to get the movement in the water in the foreground here, I'm overexposing for the waterfall itself and it's burning out, it's blowing out. So it's a two frame stack again. I've focused on the foreground rocks and that's at 0.6 of a second just to get a nice bit of movement in the water and then. For the second stacked frame, second stacked exposure, I've focused on the waterfall itself. That's a slightly faster exposure at a fifth of a second, one fifth of a second. Still getting a nice milky look to the water. And then I'll stack them in Photoshop and it should make a nice frame. I'm at ISO 100, I'm at an aperture of f14 for both frames. There's, there's very little difference really in, in the focusing, but I just wanted the whole frame to be pin sharp so that when your eye follows, works its way up the frame, the whole frame's sharp. Just using the circular polarizer again, and I absolutely love this, it, it's absolutely fantastic. Clip on, no threading, no, no worrying about dropping it onto the floor. One second, clipped on, away you go. Set it up, jobs are good and Yeah, so I'd highly recommend the K&F Concept magnetic filter set. It's absolutely brilliant, love it. But uh, no more threading for me, I think I said that earlier, but uh, yeah. And hopefully before too much longer I'll be able to go somewhere slightly different and use the 10 stop as well as the circular polarizer but uh, anyway yeah hopefully this is a nice frame guys I'll pop it up now
hope you can hear me all right here. I'm in the thick of it now. I've got nice and low. I've come quite a way back from the main waterfall. I have lost a little bit of it, but it's still in the top left hand corner of the frame. But I wanted to concentrate on this lovely cascade as the main foreground element. And then your eye leads off over the bank that I wish you stood on and then into the main waterfall. I'm going to talk quickly because the battery's nearly flat. F14, fourth of a second, focused on the foreground, single frame exposure. And uh, I really like this one. I think this might be my favourite. I'll pop it up now, guys. We'll call it a day I think. Perfect timing really because the clouds have, have cleared and there's uh, as you can see on my face bright sunshine again now so the light's gone quite harsh on the waterfall itself so uh, timed it just right but um, anyway going back to the KNF concept Nano X quick switch magnetic filter kit <laughs> that's a mouthful but uh, yeah thoroughly enjoyed using it so much easier than threading on and off with the old filter system so uh, yeah it's a uh, you know, one, one second on, one second off, it's brilliant and it's a nice smooth operation for the the um, CPL, the circular polarizer, so brilliant, yeah. Didn't really get to use the 10 stop, but I will do I will do in the next video or two. So uh, I'll put all the details to KNF Concepts website in the link de in the description below. I'll put a link in the description below, so go and click on that and, uh, and check it out. I say they do all the sizes from 49mm upwards. So uh, I'm sure it's, there's, there's one set out there to fit, to fit your lenses if you're not on 77mm like myself. But uh, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed using it, highly recommend it. Only used it for the day, but uh, I can't see any problems with it at all. Ni nice flowing system and uh, yeah, so easy to work with. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of an insight into the, the filter set anyway. But um, yeah, another waterfall ticked off the list in the Yorkshire Dales, thoroughly enjoyed it. And I've stopped because I'm next to the van, the van's just here, so uh, so easily easily accessible and as you can see waterfalls just behind me, so yeah, thoroughly enjoyable day, back at the van already, literally half a minute and uh, yeah, brilliant stuff. Well thanks ever so much for watching guys, hope you enjoyed that, another waterfall done. If you could remember to give it a, a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't yet, that'd be much appreciated and giving the, the video a like really helps out the channel and it lets lets the algorithm know that you're enjoying the content and uh, puts it out there a bit more so i'd appreciate a like guys jobs are good in thanks ever so much for watching guys catch up next week take care catch up soon <laughs>